As long as I can remember, I was always protective of my little sister Sue. We were practically inseparable. I remember when she was born. I was 12 going on 13, and the moment my little sister was born, my mother made me promise I was going to keep her safe. I never went back on that promise. A year after Sue's birth, our mother passed away, leaving us with my father, who was a hopeless drunk. Every night he came back from the local bar, drunk out of his mind. I kept my sister hidden under my bed, for I feared that if my father came across Sue in his drunk state, he could beat her to death. Sometimes I believed our father had beaten mother to death. The day I turned 18, Sue had already turned six. I took my changing to an adult as an opportunity to move, move far away from our drunk father. I took Sue with me all the way to Mills, Wyoming, where not so many creeps could get a hold of my sister. It was quite different from my life in New York. It was quiet. Me. Sue was safe. Or at least, I thought she was. Late one night in the trailer I had bought, I woke to hear my sister talking in her bedroom. I groaned and got up, trudging to Sue's room. Sue? I yawned, entering the room. Who are you talking to? I saw the dark silhouette of my sister sitting in front of the bedroom window. She looked at me. My friend? Typical children, always having imaginary friends, I thought to myself. As if reading my mind, Sue said, She's an imaginary. She's real. I forced a smile. What's your name? Her name is Sally. Sue replied, not budging. Where is she? She left when you came in, Matt. Where does she come in and leave? She climbs in through the window. I froze. Through the window? Yeah, and she brings in so many cool things, like a rope with a loop that fits around my neck, a bunch of knives, and once she brought a needle. I felt my heart begin to race. Did Ali tell you what they do? She told me that if I use them on myself, I'll get magical powers. Sue paused and got up, looking to me and whispering in my ear. I think she wants me dead. My eyes widened and I pulled her into a protective embrace. It'll be alright, sis, I whispered. 